Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow lettuce in spider farmer hydroponic system. This variety is called iceberg. This is slightly different from many other lettuce varieties I have grown so far. This grows like a nice bulb. Let's see if this is going to come the same way in spider farmer. By the way, since these plants are going to grow pretty wide, I am planning to grow only two plants in this spider farmer. I am placing uh, three seeds in each pod and uh, start with two pods. Depending on the germination, I will thin out the seedlings and eventually keep only one plant per pod. Alright, the garden is ready. As always, I will add water but I will not add the nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings and I will use aerogarden nutrients throughout this growth cycle. I normally use Magfigro for all the leafy green vegetables but this is the first time I am growing iceberg lettuce. I really need some benchmark so I am starting with aerogarden nutrients. Once I get the benchmark results using this aerogarden nutrients, I will do another experiment using Magfigro. Alright, this garden is all set and good to go. It's been seven days, almost all the seeds germinated. I see two seedlings in one pod and three seedlings in other pod. Now that I see the seedlings, I will start adding nutrients. I will use two ml of aerogarden nutrients for every one liter of water. The bowl capacity of the spider former is six liters, but I added only five liters of water. So I will add 10 ml of aerogarden nutrients to begin with. It's been 11 days. The seedlings are coming very nice. There are multiple seedlings in each pod. Now it's time to thin out the seedlings and keep only one seedling per pod. I'm going to thin them out today. It's day 21. The lettuce is coming really nice. They started uh, producing bigger leaves. The leaves are getting big. The other plant was also looking like this. I just started harvesting this lettuce. I didn't get a chance to capture it. But this was also looking exactly like this. I started harvesting the bigger leaves from the bottom. Basically the outer leaves from the bottom. So that's how this plant ended up like this. All this is younger growth. So the journey started. Let's see how these plants are going to shape up. It's day 26. The lettuce is coming excellent. Look at this how beautiful it is looking. And the leaves are also getting pretty wide. This is really nice. Look at this color gradient. Wow. I really love these color gradients on the lettuce. I love to eat colorful food. So this is perfect for my salads. It's day 37. Look at this lettuce. It is coming excellent and it is shaping well. Of course, it is not shaping up same as the iceberg lettuce I get in stores, which is looking like a nice head and that looks like a cabbage. But it's not bad. It is shaping up in its own way in this hydroponic system. And that's pretty good. And looking at the leaves, they are perfectly structured and they are exactly like iceberg lettuce I see in stores or that is grown outside in the soil. It's just that they are not shaping up like head. I think they need perfect temperature or something to shape up into that round head kind of shape. But I'm happy with it. I am happy with how they are shaping up in this hydroponic system. Look at this very well. The older leaves are aging out and they are browning and drying. That's totally fine. There are many older leaves that are drying up. So it's time to harvest this lettuce. I'm just thinking whether I should harvest the whole head or whether I should harvest the outer leaves and let it grow. Given that it is iceberg lettuce and shaping very well into a nice lettuce head, I am tempting towards harvesting the whole plant. However, I am not going to harvest it right away. I am going to wait and see how it shapes up as it is maturing and whether it will really get into a head shape. It is sad that the older leaves are aging out and drying up. I don't want to lose this super healthy and beautiful lettuce. 
So I am going to harvest a few mature leaves from the bottom every now and then so that they don't go waste. This variety has a nice coloring on the edge. This is a nice color gradient. Don't get confused with the tip bones. However, this plant also has a few tip bones but there are very few. Most of these are just the natural color gradients that are showing up on the edge of the leaf. It's day 70. The lettuce is still surviving in this garden. I have been harvesting the lettuce from the bottom. I am just harvesting the outer leaves from the bottom. And this plant has been continuously producing uh, lots of lettuce. But it recently started uh, getting into bolting stage. Look at this stem. It is really tall. This is a sign of bolting. I don't see any flowering yet. I still see a nice globe at the top. It is looking very beautiful. Look at this young lettuce. How beautiful it is looking. This is the color gradient. It is still maintaining this color gradient on the tips. This is not tip bones or anything. This is very fresh and healthy lettuce. So this worked out very well. I think it's time to pull out these plants and start over. This is the other plant. This one is also looking so fresh and so healthy. I'm still enjoying this lettuce. It is consistently tasty. Even these last set of leaves also very tasty. I'm really enjoying this lettuce and this is really a very nice experiment. Definitely this lettuce is not going to survive for a long time like Paris and Coast lettuce but it is definitely worth trying. I am really bored of Paris and Coast lettuce which is a Roman variety so I thoroughly enjoyed trying a totally different variety. Look at these leaves. Just by looking at these leaves I can feel how crunchy they are going to be. So if you ever bored of lettuce that you have been growing Try this iceberg lettuce and enjoy the crunchy texture. As I am experimenting with this iceberg lettuce for the first time, I am just letting it grow forever to see how exactly this plant will shape up, mature, bolt, etc. But the actual lettuce head was ready on day 40 itself. That was pretty quick. And don't wait longer. Whenever you see a nice head formation, harvest the whole plant and enjoy. By the way, I forgot to mention one thing about the nutrition. I started feeding these plants with a 2 ml of aerogade nutrition for every 1 liter of water. But as the plants are getting big, I think from day 30 onwards, I increased the nutrients and started feeding 3 ml for every 1 liter of water. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.